Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today I'm coming from Romans, the fourth chapter and the first verse. It says, What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, was pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham was justified by works, he hath wherefore to glory, but not before God. For what said the scripture, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckon of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believe on him that justify the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom God impute righteousness without works. My God, saying, blessed are those who inquires are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. This is letting us know, glory be to God, that if you are obtaining things by your works, by your own doing, amen, that is for your glory. It's not for the glory of God. But if you are obtaining things, hallelujah, and you're allowing it to be done by the Spirit of God, and it's God is the one that's doing it, amen, then God is to be glorified. Amen. This morning when I woke up, I heard the Lord says, hallelujah, glory be to God, if you can just believe, my God, if you can just believe, I'm talking to somebody today, hallelujah, God is saying, if you can get to that point of just believing and trusting God, he says, just try me and see, won't I open up the windows of heaven? and pour you our blessings that you won't have room to receive. God says, if you can just believe, amen, you can believe, if you can believe, my God, you can obtain those things, hallelujah, that you cannot obtain in your own will and in your own power. We need God, my God, we need God. There are some things in our lives, amen, that only God can do. And you're only going to get to that plateau if you what? If you tap into that place of believing God, if you tap into that place, Hallelujah, where it's counted unto you, amen, for righteousness. Hallelujah. He said, Blessed is he that has not seen and yet believe. We know the story of Abraham. My God called him out from amongst his people, amen, and sent him forth. Glory be to God. Change his name from Abram to Abraham. Hallelujah. Abraham had to believe God. Saints of God, you have to believe God. It's time for us to start trusting God. The Bible says you have not because you what? Because you ask not. There are some things, hallelujah, that you can obtain in your own power, in your own strength, amen, in your own doing. You wasn't able to forgive your sins. You wasn't able to wash your sins away. Hallelujah. You wasn't able, glory be to God, to give yourself amen, a newness of life that only came by what? Jesus Christ. You had to believe that he was, my God, and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Glory be to God. God is saying today, hallelujah, to somebody, there's some things that you need done in your life. There's some errors that you need me to touch, hallelujah, and nothing and no one can touch it. Nothing and no one can fix it, hallelujah. Nothing and no one, glory be to God, can do it but me. But you're not going to get it, amen, until you get to that point of belief. Amen, you got to believe God. Yes, there is a struggle. There is a war going on between the humanity and the spirit, my God, between your flesh and the spirit, glory be to God. There's a constant battle and a constant spirit. Hallelujah. A constant spiritual war. But God says, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Great is he that is in you. Amen. That he that is in the world. God said he wants to open up doors for you. But those doors can't open until you start believing. I mean, those doors can't manifest until you start trusting and believing God. God says, if you can just believe Hallelujah. Without a shadow of a doubt, my God. Hallelujah. I will make ways for you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. He said he will make ways for you, saints. Hallelujah. Ways out of no ways. Hallelujah. He says that we can have it just for the asking. If you can just believe. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That he will lift that burden off you, my God. That he will strengthen you right Something now, even as we Please begin to again. talk. Hallelujah. Even as we begin to. Hallelujah speak right now. God said he would do it. 
If you can just believe, saints of God, amen, That's that seems easier than, than done, my God. It seems easier than done, glory be to God. But when your back is against the wall, hallelujah, sometimes we'll try to look to our own strength and our own power to figure out how to do it, my God, and how to figure out what to do. But God said, if you will lean on me, if you can just depend on me, glory be to God, I will move that mountain, hallelujah. If you got the faith, hallelujah, Hallelujah. He said he will move that mountain out of your life. Glory be to God. That stumbling block, that hindrance, God. That's preventing you from moving forth in God. Hallelujah. My God, my God, and not just the spiritual things. We have to believe God for the natural things as well. Hallelujah. He says this is will. Glory be to God. That you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul shall prosper in the Lord. God said you can have it, my God. According to my will, if you can only believe, saints of God, hallelujah, God said, hallelujah, my God, it was counted unto him for righteousness. If you can trust God, it's counted unto you for righteousness, hallelujah, to you for righteousness, hallelujah. We serve a just God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty, mighty good God, hallelujah. And he loves you so much, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, and he want to do it for you, amen, both naturally and spiritually, if you can only believe. I love you today. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you today. May heaven forever smile upon you. It's my prayer. Glory be to God.